So my name is Theresa Anderson and I'm director of the Jodrell Bank Centre for Engagement, which is the bit of Jodrell Bank that welcomes people to the site, does all the cultural engagement. Yeah, Blue Dot, it's just such an evocative name. It's really poetic if you know the story of it. And the story comes from um, a, an old scientist, Carl Sagan, who's passed away now, who was in charge of the NASA Voyager missions. And in 1990, when the Voyager 1 spacecraft reached the edge of the solar system, he got NASA to turn it back and take what he called the family album of photographs of each of the planets. The only one we remember of those is the Earth. And it's a really boring photo because it's just space with a tiny pale blue dot in it. But if you think about what that means, you know, that's a tiny pale blue dot. And he wrote this amazing thing saying, that's here, that's home, that's us. And on that tiny dot, everybody you've ever known lived. You know, all the kings, all the historical people. And, you know, everything's played out on this planet. And so and it, it goes on a bit. And then at the end, he said, it reminds us to behave more kindly to one another and look after this pale blue dot, the only home we've ever known. And so that is kind of right at the heart of the festival. Yes, yeah, so it's important this is a World Heritage Site because it puts science firmly at the heart of culture. And one of the things that was really interesting at the start of the process, which is a bit of a long haul, was going into the cultural and heritage sector and talking about science and everybody going, what? <laughs> and then saying, no, you know, science is an area of human endeavour. It's got its cultural aspects like any other area. And so like your, your architecture, your medieval cities, your pyramids, you know, science is the heritage of the future and we should be paying attention to it now. Yeah, weirdly, I've got, you know, qualifications in physics, but I've also got an MA in fine art. And um, it's a bit of a brain shake going from science to the arts. And uh, one of the interesting things about it is actually, you know, people are people. It's a really obvious thing, you know, that actually people are very similar in whatever sector. Um, and in, in either, you know, fields, and they are very diverse, you get people who are good at it, people who are diligent, people who are inspired, people who are creative in science and engineering as much as the arts. Um, and really, you know, when you put people who are really good at science and art together, you find out there's so much in common between these two areas. Our partners who program the music are really good at what they do um, and, and I think I have to say they nailed it last night because having you know Max Richter and Tilda Swinton on site it's kind of blown my brain and I can't think of anything that would be better you'd probably have to ask me in six months time when that has kind of passed on for me because it was amazing experience. <laughs>